anything that you want to do off-roading or even outdoors, you can do it in California within like two hours time, which is incredible. I think the funnest thing about this car, now that it's all finished, is the love that I get for the Cayenne. Like even this morning before coming here at like 4 a.m., someone stopped me at the light, asked me what the deal was with the car and told me how great it was. Everyone thinks it's so wild, but so awesome at the same time. And I love that people love it the way that I do. Hi, I'm Jen Nguyen. I drive a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, first gen, and today we are here to get dirty. Our whole goal when we decided to build this off-road Cayenne was really to take it camping and to kind of like get our feet wet overlanding. My husband found me this Porsche Cayenne online all the way in Massachusetts, so in the summer pandemic, I flew out to Massachusetts, picked it up, and drove it cross country back to LA. And it's actually been a real like labor of love. It's been like our pandemic baby, I guess. When we first got it, it was just black and had a roof rack and everything on it. And we decided to turn it into a venture car. Then just picked and choose everything and made it custom to what we liked. And that's been a real treat to have like a project to work with my husband on. So we are in El Mirage Dry Lake Bed and I've actually never been here before. It's so expansive and it's just been so amazing to really just take the Cayenne as fast as I want and just like create a massive trail of dust behind me. So I am a freelance makeup artist and the Porsche Cayenne actually comes in handy. I've actually done makeup outside of the trunk, which works out great. I just set up a chair and the whole trunk opens and it acts like a makeup table, which is awesome. Um, and a lot of times you're on location, like out in Palm Springs or out in the desert. And you know, you come across terrain like this and cayenne, no sweat, easy peasy. The last thing you want to worry about when you're out here is like, oh, is me rubbing up against that bush going to scratch it? Or is this that rock that just popped up? You know, how damaging is that going to be? Or, or is all this dirt going to be caked into the paint because it's hot out here and dry? And like, you don't want to have to worry about any of that. You want to worry about the trail ahead and just having fun. So I'm Jimbo, I'm a professional detailer. I've been for 12 plus years professionally, I guess you could say, and obviously a car enthusiast for long before that. And today we're out here to uh, do this awesome short series, right? Have some fun and make sure that most importantly, the Porsche behind us stays protected and clean and safe, right? We wanna have fun, but we wanna, we wanna have safe, clean fun. How about that? So even though it seems crazy out here and we're dealing with all these different elements, it's actually not too dissimilar from what people deal with just on a day-to-day -day basis. Driving around, especially if it rains and all that junk is being lifted up off the, the cement or the concrete. And for today, our element is this super harsh, dry lake bed, right? And so we're gonna be dealing with rocks, dust, dirt, debris kicking up. And so we really wanna make sure the paint is protected, the glass is protected, the wheels are protected, not only for today, but for when we go to clean the car up. And so we're gonna make sure we put seal and shine on it because seal and shine is known for its hydrophobic properties and creating that super durable bond uh, to the paint, but also creating a deflection off the paint so that when dirt and debris is attracted to the car, it's sitting on top of that seal and shine surface, not the wrap or the paint itself. In order to get it looking its best, it starts with preventative maintenance, similar to an engine, right? You do your oil changes, you're doing your tire rotations, you're doing all that. Well, this is just preventative maintenance for the aesthetics of the car. It's kind of a like a pro tip or a hack that a lot of people don't talk about is actually doing these preventative things before you even leave for the adventure. 
Think about uh, waxing or, or adding a sealant like Seal & Shine or any of these products are really your uh, extra insurance while you're out here. So you have insurance for the car, you have insurance and peace of mind. And if something happens, you're covered. It's exactly what Seal & Shine or Dash & Glass or the ceramic spray coating all are. Just extra insurance so that you can go have fun. show that we went to and had the Cayenne in was for the Mud Syndicate at the road downtown and we won Best in Show from Turtle Wax which is so great I mean what's not to love? It came from Ma Massachusetts so it was in snow and all that humidity and everything on the east coast and now it's here out in California it's gone through the mountains it's gone through the desert and it's just getting a lot of love and appreciation and I think I think it knows it. we are going to really give it some TLC with Turtle Wax and really just bring it back to its glory and a showroom car that it should be.